Warrior Shaw. Warrior Shaw coming up. Well, our next guest is a home and gardening guru and is most well known for a lot of you from shows like Lawn and Order. Love that name. Yard Crashers <laughs> and Going Yard. And he's in town for the St. Paul Home and Patio Show. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chris Lampton, everybody. Hi, Chris. How are you? You're here for the, uh, I, I, your presence and the presence of the, of the show, it, me, for us, it's a sign that spring is almost here, and we appreciate yes. that, yes. So thank you for your, <laughs> thank you for your presence is what I'm trying My to say. It doesn't feel like it today outside. No, no. But <laughs> it's coming, right? Yeah. I hope. How did you, is this? Is this area something you've always been involved in or liked, shown interest, like when you were a kid? Or how did you, how did you find this as your niche? I've been digging holes since I was a little kid, so I've always <laughs> loved it. Yeah. Um, no, I actually, uh, I stole a tomato from my next door neighbor, Mr. Johnson, when I was four. And in, I know, I know. Very, very bad kid. Yeah. But uh, instead of yelling at me or doing something to me about it, he gave me some tomatoes, taught me how to grow my own vegetable garden. And ever since, seriously, I've loved landscape. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. So I, I owe it to Mr. Johnson. Yeah. For not doing something bad to me not or yelling at me, but calling instead, the police on you. Instead, teaching yeah. me the love of gardening and growing my own vegetables. So I've loved it ever since. Okay. So, but people can have a love of gardening and they don't end up on HGTV. <laughs> so. How it works you, for me. I don't know what you're talking you. about. Well, because yeah. you were, uh, he will also be familiar because uh, for Bachelor Nation, Chris was on The Bachelorette. Yes. Uh, was on The Bachelorette. So, okay. So that leads me to a question. And we have a mutual friend, Matt Minster, yes. who said you're a good guy. So I think you'll be honest with <laughs> I think you'll be honest with me here. <laughs> okay. Give it to me straight. Yes. How many of these dudes that go on this show are really there looking for love, or how many of them just want to use it as a catapult for their career? Are oh, you have clips from the Bachelorette? Wow. Yes, we do. We are a, yep. yeah, we like are a well produced. Uh, I'll tell you what. So after the Bachelorette, my dad probably got more love letters than I did. <laughs> Your dad. So Dad's a good looking man. He, my, <laughs> he is. Uh, so, you know, people always say, are they on there for the right reasons? Yeah. Um, I probably half, you know, half? like I think half I actually generally, you know, like, all right, you know, I need to like shake up my dating life somehow and, and, and do it for that reasons. And half are probably like, I want to get more Twitter and Instagram followers and do it for that reason. Where did but, you fall in there? Oh, I fell in the trying to find natural love. Really? So, yeah. Um, I think Look at Chris. Yeah. He's playing you like a fiddle. <laughs> That's right, yes. He's playing you like a fiddle. No. No, no I'm, ki I'm kidding. Um, was it fun? Oh, yeah, it was incredible. Uh, I mean, that time in my life, I, I needed something like that to change things up. Uh, I, I had moved home because my mom was sick, and I helped take care of her. And then afterwards, uh, you know, I was living at home with my dad, and I, I needed to find somebody. And I was kind of stuck in a rut on the Cape. And uh, luckily, this random lady, Michelle, who I was doing work for, wrote something up, sent a picture in, and that's how I got on the show. And I ended up traveling around, literally around the world. Uh, and didn't work out for me with The Bachelorette. Yep. But because of that, I met my wife, who I never would have met if I didn't go on the show. And she was actually on The Bachelor. But we met in real life, so we really love each other, which it works out well if you're married. Yeah, it works. I mean, you know, it does. Right? I mean, you know. <laughs> so in essence, so in essence, not the way ABC would have liked it, but the Bachelor really, the Bachelor Nation really did help you find love. It did. So I was actually at an event, and they were trying to get me to be the Bachelor, and I was there with Chris Harrison, and through a mutual friend, she came and met us out that night. So it was like a real show because Chris Harrison was there, but he didn't hand out roses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he doesn't know. just do that at the Sizzler. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like no, 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 no. But we met, hit it off. Nine months later, I proposed to her. That is great. Chris. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So how did going back to the reason I asked the question to begin with? Did that exposure help you get in front of producers at HGTV, or what was that? I started getting emails from people at HGTV who had watched because they say your name and your occupation. Yeah. And I started getting emails from people at HGTV, and I said, "This has got to be fake. They're not going to call me." Yeah. 
and I Googled the person's name, and they actually did work for them. Yeah, it wasn't a scam. Yeah, it wasn't a scam. Yeah, it yeah, it wasn't a scam. scam. So I went there and and, uh, and had an interview with somebody I thought was HR, but she was the president of Scripps. Went went well. And the production company, yeah. No. Oh no. She was the president of HGTV, the entire company. Oh. oh. I thought I was going to start down here. No, 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 no. You no. are fancy, Chris. Yeah, I got lucky. So yeah. uh, nine years later, it went well, and I'm still working for them. And Lawn and Order. I mean, it's, it, which is the best name ever. I know. You're here not just to uh, uh, be here on our show. You're here for the uh, St. Paul a, a Home and Patio Show. Yep. What are you going to be doing there? I'm giving a presentation today at 4 and then tomorrow at 11 and 1. And I give tips and tricks and uh, stuff I've learned on not just TV landscaping, but I call it real life landscaping because yeah. there's no cameras around. Uh, so I've been doing that for what? How old am I? I don't even know. 25, 30 years, and I, I love it. And and you know what you're doing. And I try to get people to love being outside because you know what better thing to do than to get outside, grow your own flowers and vegetables, teach the next generation. I have my daughter out there landscaping with me, and you're going to be someone's Mr. Johnson. <laughs> you're going to be someone's Mr. Johnson. I hope so. You will. I hope so. Come back and see us the next time you're in town. I would love it. Thank you all very Thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah. At the St. Paul Home and Patio Show at River Center. Tickets head to homeandpatioshow.com.